We always want to know more about David Letterman, don't we? Al Roker's now got a couple of guests over there who could, who could tell us the real dirt. We don't know if they're going to. I don't think they will, because uh, uh, Dave's their meal ticket. Yes. So you, guys, you guys aren't doing it. Uh, I have a mortgage. I have, uh, we, want, we want to welcome two of the main writers uh, from Late Night with David Letterman, uh, Mr. Steve O'Donnell, Jerry Mulligan. Thanks for... Uh, do you prefer uh, Gerard or Jerry? I prefer either one. Okay. And you've got a book out, which is called The Late Night with David Letterman, Book of Top Ten Lists. Written by David Letterman and The Late Night with David Letterman writers. So this is basically a, a whole bunch of the, the top ten lists that you guys did. Yeah, it, it would be as if, uh, Al, you put a book together of the, the best uh, weather forecasts you've given over the past Small book. <laughs> yeah, a little different. <laughs> but then again, this is kind of a thin book, too. Now, you guys are getting $8.95 for this thing. Uh, yes. $11.95 in Canada. Yes. Canada. It but, does include a free meal and uh, overnight pass to Dave's house. Ah, so that's... Sure. <laughs> That's a pretty sure. good deal. No, oh, really, where'd the idea come up from? Then? How, why did you guys decide that? Well, we're decided? always looking for uh, things to kill time, and several years ago, we thought, well, uh, other magazines and uh, other shows put out top ten lists, you know, most eligible bachelors and, you know, best summertime desserts or, you know, top ten, you know, best vacation destinations. And we said, well, they have no credentials to put out, you know, best and worst dress lists. So we said, we can do that. We can do that. Mm -hmm. So so we did it. And we've kept at it since then. Uh, let's see. You've got the top ten things that'll get you kicked out of Disney World. Uh, number one is bringing your own mouse suit. Number ten, <laughs> driving down Main Street, USA, with Bambi's mother strapped to your fender. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh. No, we didn't. I'm sorry, I mean, Sue. How many people, I mean, how much, how much of that do you get when you start throwing out lists when you're writing and you get groans from the other writers? Well, we, we feel glad if we get any kind of reaction at all, Al. Uh, <laughs> seriously, you watch the show, you Excellent. know how grateful we are. As soon as we get a reaction, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll we get haven't in got, touch with people, you. People, seriously, people tend not to react to the, uh, they don't get angry when we, when we uh, say nasty things about people dear to them, for some reason, on, about, in this format. I don't we've, know. Had a, we've had a couple of people who like the lists well enough to write in for them. Ralph Nader wanted a copy of, we did... Uh, Top ten ways American cars would be different if Ralph Nader had never been born, and there were things like a, uh, you know, an, an in dashboard hibachi and stuff like that. <laughs> he, he was tickled enough by that to ask for one. Top ten least popular candy bars: Lug Nut, Good and Linty, <laughs> Reverend Al's Marshmallow Medallion. Yes, and, and I think there's also Roger Ebert's Mystery Law. Yes. Yeah. Well, that's, we're in litigation about that right now. So. Now, has anybody been a little upset at uh, at any of the uh, top ten list? Have you heard anything? We haven't been nice? Maybe may, I, I I know uh, Joan Collins uh, over over perfume uh, comments when she came out with her perfume. I think she may have been a little bit peeved, but oh, she's much too classy a lady to ever utter any <laughs> exactly. kind of comment in public. Okay. To lawyers, well, so. well, we've got uh, you. You guys wrote up a list of. Uh, for live at five, a top Did ten we? list. Did we custom made? It's Ooh. as, it's as fresh well, as an astroturf outfit. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you guys go ahead with the well, ladies and gentlemen? The top ten. What is this top ten list? Top ten differences between live at five and late night. Ah, the from the home show. office. That's right. And if you could do something like a drum roll. Do we have a drum roll by any chance? No, we'll just no, go we'll right ahead. Not. Okay, number ten. Sue Simmons takes cues from her stage manager, whereas Dave from voices in his head. <laughs> <laughs> Live at five sponsors, Volvo, Bank of New York. Late night sponsors, malt liquor, discount carpet. <laughs> Late night doesn't have jovial weather guy who launches unsuccessful diet every other week. Oh! <laughs> oh! Ooh! Ooh! There you go. Uh, <clears throat> live at five, temperatures from Central Park. Late night, jokes from Old Reader's Digest. <laughs> Number six, on Live at Five, celebrities are often interviewed by Sue. On late night, Dave is often sued by celebrities. <laughs> Play on words. Number five, Tony Guida doesn't do show without pants. Ah, always a good one. Number four, cabbies seldom drive up on curve trying to hit live at five hosts. Exactly. <laughs> Number three, total strangers rarely set up housekeeping in homes of live at five personalities. <laughs> <laughs> number two, one's infotainment, the other's intermation. And the number one reason Live at Five and Late Night are different... <laughs> Sometimes Live at Five gets laughs. Ooh! <laughs> All right. Are they really worried about their mortgage? <laughs> <laughs> well, Steve yeah, McDonald, yeah. Jerry Mulligan, it's The Late Night with David Letterman, Sorry. top ten lists with David Letterman and the Late Night Writers. Thank exactly. you very much for being with us. Say hello to Dave for us uh, when you go will. over. Tell him we wish he could have come over, but, you know. He doesn't like to busy. do television. <laughs> okay, yeah, thanks a lot.
Uh, Sue and Tony? Well, All we right, can't do anything Al. because we're not there's, no, there's camera. no camera here. Oh, but here we'll, it is. We'll shout real loud that if you'll join us tomorrow, <laughs> if you'll join <laughs> us <laughs> tomorrow, we'll have Milton Ball here. Thank you and good night. He has no pants on. <laughs> You've been watching Live at 5. Now stay tuned for News for New York.